Hello, and welcome to the 2020 Community Cares Virtual Grant Awards Ceremony. My name is Rob Black, and I serve as the board president of the Lebanon Area Foundation. This is the 20th year of awarding Community Cares grants to area nonprofits serving Laclede County residents. In the past, this event has been held in person with dozens of representatives from local nonprofits as our guests of honor. We would gather to celebrate the end of the annual campaign and the results of our community's generosity. This year, we are pleased to be able to present the Community Care Grant Awards ceremony virtually so that everyone can be a part of this wonderful event. Let me begin today by thanking the Lebanon Area Foundation Board of Directors and our administrative staff for their work this year to raise awareness for Community Cares. The Community Cares program has awarded over $1.8 million to over 70 different nonprofits serving Laclede County over the last 20 years. This year, we received requests totaling over $148,000, and I'm honored today to announce that Community Cares will be awarding $107,000 to 23 different agencies. To help make this possible, we express our gratitude to our fall campaign sponsors, Commerce Bank, McLeod Electric Cooperative, Color Insurance, and Regional Radio KJO. This year, we were blessed to have multiple drive through locations around Lebanon that volunteered as drop-off locations for donations. Donations were accepted at Arvest Bank, Commerce Bank, First State Community Bank, Heritage Bank of the Ozarks, Mid-Missouri Bank, the Lebanon Area Chamber of Commerce, Lebanon City Hall, Laclede Electric Cooperative, and U.S. Bank. Also, area businesses volunteered to host community care collection jars for customers to donate their spare change. Thanks to Elm Street Eatery, JR's Western Store, the Lebanon Laclede County Library, Little Caesars, Nature's Pantry, Ozark Visions, Page Office Supply, Perennial, and Vintage Flower Market for being a part of this effort and encouraging your customers to support local nonprofits. We cannot say thank you enough to the hundreds of community members who participate in payroll deduction, the dozens of local businesses who make annual donations to community cares, and the many wonderful community members who donate through the drive through locations and drop off your change in the collection jars at your area businesses. Your generosity is the reason Community Cares has benefited our community for over 20 years, and we sincerely appreciate you. At this time, I'd like to introduce LAF Administrator Melinda Fries to share with you about how the Community Cares program serves our community. Each year, Lebanon Area Foundation invites area nonprofits to apply for grants that will help them to better serve our community. And each year, we reach into our community, asking people and businesses to join us in combining dollars to make a difference. LAF board members have the blessing and the burden of reviewing those applications and determining how much will be distributed to each agency. They look at the needs being met, the number of Laclede County residents being served, the stability of the nonprofit, and how the nonprofit is raising funds to support their programs outside of community dollars. The Community Cares program was never meant to fully fund a program or agency. It was meant to be a resource for all nonprofit organizations meeting the vital needs of Laclede County residents. It is better to partially fund 23 nonprofits than to fully fund five nonprofits so that we can help to keep their lights on and their doors open but we are not meant to be the only funding source. This year, our 21st year of raising funds for local nonprofits has been so very different than years past. I am proud of the work that we have done and am immensely grateful to each and every one of you for stepping up to the plate when we asked for your help, especially during these difficult and unprecedented times. We could not have raised $107,000 without your participation in our fall campaign promoting community cares and helping us to raise awareness of the good works of our local nonprofits. The nonprofit organizations being recognized in this celebration today work tirelessly to fundraise for the programs and services they provide. Community cares exists to give them some reprieve from this time consuming and often difficult task so that they can put boots on the ground fulfilling the mission of their organizations. At this time, I would like to introduce the chairman of the LAF Distribution Committee, Pastor Kelly Rhodes. Hello, 
I have the honor and privilege of announcing the recipients of the 2021 Community Cares Grants. These nonprofits do so much for our neighbors in the Cleve County and with your generosity and support of Community Cares, they will have the resources they need to continue their great works. The following nonprofits will be receiving a combined total of $107,000. Here has how your donations make a difference in 2021. The American Red Cross, to assist with direct client needs such as motel, food, and clothing after a disaster. Bay Cares, best foot forward program to purchase new shoes for more than 100 children in need right here in the Cleve County. Cope Domestic Violence Shelter, to provide the Cleve County families with housing, financial assistance to live self-sufficiently in sustainable apartments or homes. Financial assistance will come in the form of rental deposits, rental and utility expenses, moving expenses, and furniture and food donations. Crossline Ministries, to help families pay their utilities or rent when they have shutoff notices or eviction notices. Diaper Bank of the Ozarks, to provide diapers to babies in the Cleve County through the Rural County Program. This grant will provide 80,000 diapers to families in need. Free Store Ministries, to cover their property, vehicle, and liability insurance expenses at the Free Store so they can continue to serve the community in a variety of ways. Friends of Love in the Cleve County, County Library. To support children's programs, young adult programs, adult programs, and outreach programs of the library, outreach programs deliver books from the library to all licensed daycares, preschools, senior citizens, and apartment buildings. Gasconade C4 School District Literacy Project. Purchase scholastic books for children based on their reading levels to have at home to practice their literacy skills. Hillcrest Education Center. To help with the purchasing of supplies, vehicle maintenance, and items for qualified students such as family assistance with unforeseen bills and proper clothing. Hughes Senior Center. To purchase the ingredients for the meal program. The raw food is turned into delicious meals for senior citizens in McLean County. They served 60,868 meals last year to 1,150 individuals over the age of 60. Kiwanis Club 11's Children Christmas Shopping Program to purchase socks, underwear, shirts, pants, belts, hats, gloves, and shoes for children in need in McLean County around Christmas time. LI Food Pantry to support the facility's rent and utility expenses in order to keep their doors open and their lights on to serve the Cleve County residents experiencing food insecurity. The Cleve County Drug Council to fund the drug awareness programs for Lebanon, Conway, and Stalin School Districts and the National Drug Take Back Program Day. The Cleve County the Cleve Literacy Council to purchase Lubach and Pro Literacy materials to be used by students and volunteer tutors. These materials are used to assist in individuals in learning to read, obtaining their high school equivalency, and passing the U.S. citizenship test. Lane Change To fund over 100 hours of counseling for individuals seeking mental health and or substance abuse counseling. Lebanon R3 Social Services To support student needs such as clothing, shoes, transportation, fees, dental and medical visits, emergency medicine, space eaters, and sleeping bags. Live to Give Hope's Fostering Hope Closet to assist with rent and utilities for the Fostering Hope Closet Lebanon so that they can focus on their mission of serving the needs of foster families and children here in our community. New Life Project. To support the operational expenses of running the New Life House such as transportation costs, groceries, security, and insurance so they can focus on their mission of serving women transitioning out of jail who are working towards finding employment and building solid foundations for the future. Project 360 Youth Services. To cover the expenses of utilities, the Project 360 Soundhouse facility as they care for the homeless and at-risk children in the Cleek County. Share the fair to cover the costs of processing donated meat for distribution in local food pantries. Shepherd's Pack to provide food for the weekend for students in Lebanon and Jolie Barber school districts during the school year with a four-day week. Jolie Barber students receive enough food for Fridays as well. Stoutland Senior Center. To purchase the ingredients for the senior meal program, the raw food is turned into delicious meals for senior citizens at both the facility and those who are homebound. The Salvation Army. To purchase food for their pantry, serving local Laclede County residents experiencing food insecurity. Congratulations on receiving the 2021 Community Cares Grant Awards. On behalf of the Lebanon Area Foundation, I want to thank each and every one of you for all that you do to serve our community. Hello. I am so happy to be here to celebrate the success of this year's Community Cares campaign and the ability to help meet the needs of Laclede County residents. 
our local nonprofit organization in Laclede County have been hit hard in meeting the needs of their clients in this the more difficult than ever. Because of COVID-19, Community Cares had to take a different approach to raise funds to meet the vital needs of our community. Community Cares partnered with Regional Radio KGEL, the City of Lebanon, and area businesses over a four-week four week period from September 21st through October 16th to promote local giving. During that time, we highlighted the vital services and programs that Community Cares helps fund with pre-recorded video interviews featured on Lebanon Area Foundation's Facebook page. We shared how your donations are making a difference in Laclede County and asked you to open your hearts and your checkbooks to keep these amazing resources in our community. Regional Radio KGEL went above and beyond for Community Cares and the nonprofits seeking Community Cares grant dollars. They provided daily updates of our progress during the campaign and hosted a full hour every Tuesday and Thursday for Community Cares to be featured live during the four-week campaign. Regional Radio KGEL made it possible for us to reach our community and raise funds without risking the health of our volunteers and donors. It is because of their support of Community Cares that we were able to award $107,000 to area nonprofits in 2021. It is with great appreciation that I present the Community Partner Award to Regional Radio KGEL and their incredible team of caring employees. They truly are neighbors helping neighbors. I hope that you have enjoyed the Community Cares Virtual Grant Awards Ceremony. Lebanon Area Foundation is looking forward to 2021 and cont continuing to fund area nonprofits through uh, donations to Community Cares. We wish everyone a warm and safe holiday season.